so I broke my car, more or less. Mm. There we go, that's better. And so, so I flooded my engine with uh, too much oil. So basically, I put like twice as much oil as I was supposed to in my car because I couldn't read the dipstick very well. And so, my car is now leaking oil out of everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. <clears throat> so, I have to scour the internet for an engine. Well, I have scoured the internet for an engine. It's in West Virginia. So we're, we're in the car. So I'm using my mom's car. I have been for like a week or so. Uh, it's really nice. It's a 2015 Outback. Nice and fast, nice and smooth. Drives like a spaceship. So I gotta chip in for gas. It is what it is. <clears throat> cheaper here in Maryland than it is in West Virginia, which is big right now. Here we go. Yeah, on top of that, my transmission is also uh, not good. So I, I got a new transmission. Oh my god, what the fuck? I should probably change that out as well, so I gotta figure out when that's getting delivered. Which reminds me, I gotta go do that. Take two. So, 100 miles to Frederick, Maryland. Last time I went to West Virginia, I stayed in Frederick overnight. Did the, the rest of it the next morning. Made it a little easier. So we'll get at our uh, to our motel like an hour and a half, maybe a little more than that. This car is ridiculously uncomfortable. The last time I went to West Virginia, uh, I was visiting my friend Justin, he was, uh, he was uh, working at a, with AmeriCorps at the time. He was a teacher's aide for inner city kids. I think he still does, uh, I think he's now an actual teacher up in Ohio now. This is actually, uh, this is really fitting that <laughs> the engine I'm getting is from West Virginia. Because the true testament of that thing, of that car's power, was uh, was presented in <laughs> the last time I went to West Virginia. So I drove, I drove the hour and a half to Frederick, and then in the morning I did another six and a half hours all the way down to Kermit, West Virginia, right, like. Like, I was driving along this river, and, like, like it's just dark, right? And then his roommate, the next morning, we're driving down the same road, and he's like, you see that across the river? I was like, yeah, I couldn't see it because of the dark. He's like, that's Kentucky. I was down there just for the weekend, just because, like, I hadn't seen him in forever. And so I drove uh, the, t the evening and the following morning. Actually, you know, it was all of the next day, pretty much, getting down there. Um, yeah, I got there at 8 p.m. And that wasn't even where he was staying. He was, like, up on, like, a, like a, a reserve. So we drove, like, another hour and a half in the dark trying to get to the cabin. And when the week was over, I had to drive home. I also had a shift at Domino's at the time that I, that I had to be there for. And I drove that bitch 
all the way across West Virginia through the Panhandle of Maryland and back down to the Eastern Shore in eight hours flat. And then proceeded to do an eight hour delivery shift at Domino's. No breaks. That thing is a fucking monster. It is a beast. Should have done some stretches before I got in the car. My lower back is killing me right now. Maryland for you. I missed my turn. It's all right. <clears throat> we are right on track now. We're getting into the more mountainous region, getting towards the Appalachians. So this route that I'm going on takes me like right down into like, uh, like two hours into West Virginia. It's not, not terrible. The mountains don't really get bad until you're like four hours in. Whatever, you can read it. Nice space I got here. I have myself a night. So, I looked online, and the place isn't open on weekends. <clears throat> so I'm in Frederick playing some No Man's Sky wasting my fucking time oh, God. I don't know when I'm going to get back to this I will let you guys know how this turns out.